April 2nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 5 and 6 from the Old Testament. Listen to what I say, Lord, carefully considered my complaint. Pay attention to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I am praying to you. Lord, in the morning you will hear me, in the morning I will present my case to you and then wait expectantly for an answer. Certainly you are not a God who approves of evil. Evil people cannot dwell with you. Arrogant people cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who behave wickedly. You destroy liars. The Lord despises violent and deceitful people. But as for me, because of your great faithfulness, I will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple as I worship you. Lord, lead me in your righteousness because of those who wait to ambush me. Remove the obstacles in the way in which you are guiding me. For they do not speak the truth. Their stomachs are like the place of destruction. Their throats like an open grave. Their tongues like a steep slope leading into it. Condemn them, O God. May their own schemes be their downfall. Drive them away because of their many acts of insurrection. For they have rebelled against you. But may all who take shelter in you be happy. May they continually shout for joy. Shelter them so that those who are loyal to you may rejoice. Certainly you reward the godly, Lord. Like a shield, you protect them in your good favor. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not discipline me in your raging fury. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am frail. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are shaking. I am absolutely terrified. And you, Lord, how long will this continue? Relent, Lord, rescue me. Deliver me because of your faithfulness. For no one remembers you in the realm of death. In Sheol, who gives you thanks? I am exhausted as I groan. All night long I drench my bed in tears. My tears saturate the cushion beneath me. My eyes grow dim from suffering. They grow weak because of all my enemies. Turn back from me, all you who behave wickedly, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my appeal for mercy. The Lord has accepted my prayer. May all my enemies be humiliated and absolutely terrified. May they turn back and be suddenly humiliated. God, I do know that you protect us. I do know that you protect me from so much, and some of it I found, find out later on. Some of it I may never know, but I do know that you protect me. I do know that you have full control over the evils of this world. The people who aren't following you yet, who persecute Christians who do follow your word and your voice. I know you have full control over them. And so you also have full control to allow certain things to happen. And I do know, sometimes only on paper, but I do know that it is ultimately to glorify you that no matter what I am going through, ultimately it is to glorify you. I've had those nights where my whole bed felt like it was saturated in tears. I know many people listening right now may still be in that situation. God, allow them to shout for joy and know that they are protected in a shelter by you, that you will always reward the godly. That if we're going through hard times right now, if we're going through frustrations, if we're going through people who are persecuting us or those that we love, that we keep in mind that you are still ultimately in control, that you are in charge, you make this made this whole world and this whole world answers only to you. Even the demons, even Satan must answer to you. All glory goes to you, God. So if anyone's listening right now who is in that, that stage, that season, where that persecution's happening, where that overwhelmingness of chaos and destruction is happening in their lives. God, I just ask that you come to them 
that you rescue them, like this psalm talks about, that you provide them opportunities to remember that you are God who reigns sovereign over everything. The sun doesn't come up without your command. The stars don't come out at night without your insistence. How much more intentional would you be with our lives? The people that you intricately created. So much more than the stars or the sun. God, give them strength. Hear their pleas for mercy and reassure them. There may be many more nights of soaked beds of tears. But allow them to have that reassurance in their heart of who is in charge and how much you absolutely, without question, love them, adore them, and are there for them. In your son's name we pray. Amen.